ecosystems, by their very nature, are delicate, and it doesn't take much to throw them completely out of balance. One example of this has got the marine ecologists and fishing industry of Tasmania extremely alarmed, and I'm here at the University of Tasmania to find out why. This little black sea urchin is at the centre of the crisis. It's the long-spine sea urchin, or Centrostephanus, and it's destroying Tasmania's famous kelp forests at an incredible rate. It's a bit like an animal coming in and bulldozing a rainforest back to bare earth. It has a very significant impact on the shallow, rocky reefs. The trouble is, this sea urchin isn't native to Tasmania. It's only turned up here in the last 30 years because the East Australian current has picked up speed and pushed the species further south. The other problem is that the urchin's main predator, the rock lobster, has been overfished. So the urchins are thriving and devouring almost everything in their path. The Centrostephanus, the sea urchin, was first picked up off St Helens, which is up here, but it now extends all the way down around the coastline here to Port Davey. So it's, you know, it's a very extensive area of coastline. And how this. big are these barrens? The largest ones are several kilometres in, uh, in length. In wow. Extent. Professor Craig Johnson is working with the Fisheries Research and Development Corporation and the Natural Resource Management to stop this mass destruction. The first step is to take large rock lobsters from the deep and move them to these shallow barrens so they'll act as a predator to the sea urchins. The scientists are also looking at changing commercial fishing practices to boost the number of large rock lobsters. Their research will take three years and there's a lot at stake. If the seaweed beds are wiped out, the lobster and abalone fisheries will be under threat and they're worth $300 million a year. It's very significant now, it's affecting some people, but it could get much worse. We could lose 50% of the seaweed beds on the east coast of Tasmania. To learn more about this great project, go to frdc.com.au or check out the Tasmanian Aquaculture and Fisheries website.